Ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube, welcome back to the dojo. As always, I'm Ryu. He's Age. We're back for uh, more anime night in the dojo. This time featuring My Hero Academia, Season 5, Episode 4. Coming off of uh, last week at... That, yeah, it's gone. Lost it. Brain is all over the wall. Coming off of last week's episode, we had, uh, you know, the uh, introduction to the new training arc, uh, Class 1A versus Class 1B, with some, you know, moderate shen shenanigans. Yeah, I'm just out of it. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. We should just stop now. <laughs> I can't be salvaged. It's over. <laughs> I should just go home while I'm ahead. Anyway, sorry about that. Just um, made for spare parts. Yeah, just just spare part me. That's all I'm good for these days. But we got some side of Shinso is what I was trying to get at. He gets to uh, fight on uh, one of Class One uh, B's teams as well as Class One A's, and it looks like he's going to be getting his rematch with Deku. But he is currently dealing with uh, being on uh, Class One A's team. And uh, as we saw at the end of the last episode, uh, we get to see what his mask does, which he gets to go uh, full ventriloquist, which is pretty neat. And obviously, uh, you know, compensates for, uh, you know, the weakness of people knowing what his power is, which, you know, just don't talk to him. <laughs> now it's don't talk to anyone. Yeah, now it's don't talk to anybody. So <laughs> literally, if Shinso is on the case, do not speak. Yeah, just just go in there and you, you got to try to make his uh, mask malfunction or something or break it somehow. Things just got a lot harder for people. <laughs> so uh, I believe, as we mentioned last time, uh, probably see uh, just more of the how this fight comes uh, comes through. And then they'll probably just kind of like do like uh, highlights of uh, all the other ones, and then it'll circle around to being uh, um, the rematch with Deku with uh, Shinso being on the other team. Yeah, this this fight is mostly just going to highlight how much Shinso's improved. Then it's going to mostly just kind of be a friggin' TLDR montage of most of the other fights, and then the only like actual like real big fight is probably just going to be the Shinso versus Deku rematch. Right. Which, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, there is no reason for uh, Deku to be talking, so we'll see how uh, Shinso may or may not get around that. Which, I mean, with uh, the aizawa as capture uh, gear, he could still probably do something. Uh because at the end of the day, all they have to do is get him into that uh, disgustingly cute cage to uh, to win. <laughs> the the principal Nezu cage is is real and is probably now available at some uh, online store for you to buy a replica of. I'm sure. <laughs> put put your own cat in it. Yeah, there you go. It could be a. It could it could be like a dog carrier, cat carrier, pet carrier of any kind. Bird cage. Yeah. Uh, I want credit for this. <laughs> if they make millions, at least send me like a door prize or something. Oh <laughs> yeah, uh the other stuff that they might touch on again is more endeavor stuff, more hawk stuff, maybe um maybe a little bit more with All Might talking to Deku about uh the uh the wielder's past, but at this point, this this might just be full blown just school training arc episode, which is probably the most likely for me at this point. Which is totally fine because that's what we speculated the first half of the season was going to be anyway. So it's getting cold. That's the thing, you know. Leaves leaves have officially changed colors. It's cold. Everyone's got their new winter outfits. Uh, Ochako is keeping her uh, self warm by just. Uh, you know, losing her mind over Deku mentioning May. How many times is May going to be mentioned? Seething <laughs> and jealousy over there. Yeah, she, she's she's uh, keeping warm by seething jealousy. <laughs> Maybe uh, by next week I'll get that Ochako meter up for for the left side or the right side of the screen here. <laughs> just just move it up and down based on uh, how each week ends. How likely is she to explode next week? 
And I'm still genuinely curious if May is ever going to become an actual romance option or if it's just going to only ever be the whole thing of just one-sided jealousy from Ochako. Right. And, I mean, we all know that Asui also has some sort of feelings for Deku based on the fact that, you know, he saved her during the whole uh, invasion of the uh, training facility arc early in... Uh... That, was, that was season one, wasn't it? The... USJ, yeah. Yeah, the was, USJ. That was season one. She doesn't really show any sort of significant romantic interest in Deku, but at the same time, yeah, she is very close to him. Right. But yeah, um, see what happens. I'm excited for more Shinzo and Deku with his notebook that we mentioned that he now has a convenient storage location for it because as we all know Deku wouldn't be Deku if he didn't have his damn notebook so how, how much writing will he get done this episode probably not as much as Subaru did on those walls earlier but he'll probably get some in so let's do this we were all living at school and as the second semester neared its end Oh, now we can talk again. That's cool. Some yeah. Don't know much and think about, about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll give a simple explanation of my brainwashing quirk. First off, I focus my attention on the target and think I'm going to brainwash this person. If I can get the target to answer me after I do that, the effect is complete. The target will move according to my orders. If they get shocked, they might break free of the power depending on how well it took hold. I've never tried it before, but I think it's probably impossible to brainwash many people at once. My focus would be too splintered. No matter what, it's a powerful move, especially if they're not expecting it. Keep in mind, I can't make the person I brainwash talk. Also, orders that require them to think are off the table. For example, I can show the target the word Suyu Asui and order them to write it because they can see it. But I can't ask them what your name is and get them to answer. <laughs> I know we all kind of deal with this, but isn't it hard when people learn about your quirk? Will anyone talk to you? That's why I have this. It acts like another set of vocal cords. A vocal modulation mask. Persona cords. If my voice goes through a mic or megaphone, it loses its effect. So it has to be your real voice that they respond to? Yes. Through the variation and resonance of a number of plates, this mask can change how I speak while still making my voice heard directly. Master Su, come on! Don't you worry. Huh? Trust our classmates. With her tongue! <clears throat> this is stronger well. than it was at the sports festival. He got better! <clears throat> Class B's been training hard! Yeah, they've definitely upped their game since we last fought him, huh? One more! Oh, what's this? Class B is already pulling ahead. Each team has three competitors left, but it's obvious Class B is setting themselves up for a win. I can't say I'm surprised, given their brains and brawn. My superior students are attacking furiously. Looks like they'll finally crush Class A. Did he get possessed by President Mike? What's going on here? Bias commentary. That beast is strong. He'll be hard to take down. But I've never actually seen her put it in action before. So let's talk quirks. I'll go first if you want. Speaking Obviously, of season I one. <laughs> cling to pretty much any wall. And of course there's my tongue. I can stick it out about 20 meters. Oh yeah, and I can spit on my stomach so I can clean it. That's not really useful. Finally, I also secrete a toxic mucus. It just stings a bit. Toxic mucus saves the day! She coated her two teammates with it to cover their smell. Even we almost forgot about it. So there's no way Class B will guess what's going on. Kaminari, look for your pointers. Uh, okay. During the fight earlier, one of them stuck to Shishida's pocket. My pointer babies stick wherever they happen to land. And with these super cute glasses, you can always pinpoint their location. You were really watching carefully, huh? Thanks. <laughs> I would say it's more amazing that you didn't notice yourself. Brainwashing. It's an even more annoying quirk than I thought it was before. <sighs> With his voice-changing support item and the binding cloth, he's completely different from the person I fought at the sports festival. I'm sure he's been training hard this whole time without us knowing. You can't help the things your heart longs for. He's working hard to achieve his dream. 
in order to become a hero. Yep, that's the preview. That's not something we do as usual. <laughs> Though based on that still frame, uh, that's apparently going to be round two right there. <laughs> well, whether or not uh, it's uh, as showcased as this first battle with Shinzo, uh, I really kind of doubt it. I, I assume it'll be uh, the rest of them besides the, uh, the Izuku rematch with uh, Shinzo will be more showcased like this first one, but the rest of them will probably be like... I don't know, five five to eight minutes a piece, maybe. Unless this just turns out to be a mini arc, where it's only the first like four or five episodes, I'm pretty sure we are going to get at least some level of showcase of each thing, rather than like full on, uh, combat training season one, where it was basically just each team only got like thirty seconds, right? Outside of Deku versus Bakugo. Right. So it'll probably be a little bit longer anyway. Everybody will probably get some sort of showcase. They probably wanted to show off the rest of the members of 1B as well somehow. Yeah, they, so they're they're gonna want to show off more of Class B rather than just the couple main characters, like Class B main characters that we've gotten so far. Uh, To actually like fully fill out the class plus then also they're going to want to show at least some level of like where the class 1a has developed since then right like kaminari actually being at least semi-intelligent while not stupid well not in his stupid mode right <laughs> he, he actually had a reasonable idea which you know and the fact that like Tsuyu's actually gotten significantly better at like her actual just basic martial arts Right. And we already had, uh... Well, we didn't get really much of Kota, really. Like, Kota has been all. a really minor character yeah. for 1A. Like, he, him and, uh... What's-his-face? Sugar Rush. Um, yeah. And, like, totally sidelined for pretty much the entirety of the show. Mm-hmm. They are the two that are lacking the most uh, development, but I mean, there's a lot of freaking <laughs> characters to go through at this point, so it's kind of not surprising. Yeah, uh, Hagakure also has gotten little development, but once again, I suspect that's because she, even if she herself is not the traitor, I'm pretty sure she has some sort of extra involvement in uh, one of the later story arcs involving the traitor. Right. So she might and be it, getting a showcase one on one side or another at some point here. Yeah, she's probably not going to get any sort of significant character development or anything like that until the traitor arc comes around. Once again, whether or not that it actually is she's the traitor or not, I'm pretty sure it's going not going to be until around that arc that she's going to finally get any sort of actual significant development. Right. So yeah, pretty much what, what I expected. I mean, I, I thought they might do a couple of... Uh... You know, like uh, side notes of like Endeavor, or maybe what Hawks is up to, but usually uh, they, I'm not surprised that they just stick to the one thing. Um, those things are, from what I remember of the show, since we just watched through it, um, they usually save that for uh, like end of the episode stuff. Um, that like implying that, okay, coming up in the next episode or like in the near future, like we're going to see more of this. And, uh, Nope. Even as this preview implies, the next episode is probably going to be, even the next couple episodes are probably just going to be heavily, heavily focused on what's going on here during these uh, training sessions. Well, what I wouldn't be surprised if they do is now that we got the first of the major battles done, as in Shinso, with, with Shinzo's first battle being out of the way, I wouldn't be surprised if this next episode they do like one or two of the other classmates' battles with some of the villain stuff thrown in there yeah yeah, yeah i guess rather it just than, rather than them just going like two or three of the other classes battles right because you know what hawks is doing is still important to what's going on currently and you know um what's going on with endeavor obviously has to have more precedence than just 
you know, what happened in the first episode and a half there. So it'll definitely be interesting to see what happens. Um, just based on this, I didn't stop the preview in time, but this doesn't, we knew there was going to be more of the, the battle, so it's not really spoiling really anything major. Um, so this is, these are the teams we're going to see next week. If anything, yeah, if anything, this is more just a reminder of what team is next, because I wasn't really paying too much attention to the exact lineups. Right. So the only thing I really paid attention to was the fact that Shinso on class A is first, and Shinso on class B is last. Right. <laughs> you gotta give the dude time to uh, recuperate a little bit, right? I mean, he almost got punched in the face by a giant beast today. <laughs> uh, but we we did get to see, uh, just really quickly here, I'll save most of this for the discussion, though, is we did get to see uh, how somebody will overthink Shinzo's power and just ignore it, which is also a dangerous thing. It's like, well, it's just him yeah. again. It's like, eh. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, like, essentially the only way to really battle his power is to go with totally without any sort of communications. Yeah, no communications or, like, if you know you're going against no him, verbal. have, like, a, yeah, no verbal communication or have a ridiculous, like, you know, word at the beginning or end of every sentence that only they would say. And that's what kind of snapped him out of it was because they said Apocalypse Beast because Shinzo never really went that far. Yeah, he only knew their actual names. That was just a, like, joking nickname that the class used between each other. Good. So Shinzo wasn't aware of it. Indeed. So, it, it, you gotta kind of not ignore that. <laughs> so if they, uh, if you get too complacent, like, oh, it's just him again, you know, it's, that's what happens. You get wanged in the back of your head by your own teammates, back of his head. So much headbutting today. It's reaching beyond critical mass at this point. <laughs> if we're at the point where we're recording three shows, which we do uh, intend to get to at some point, which will be a Log Horizon Season 3 once we get to that, uh, once we catch up, um, I mean, damn. <laughs> Could we have reached a, a third episode in a row with a massive headbutting and head-related shenanigans? Would that have been a thing? Well, Log Horizon <laughs> doesn't really have much in the way of headbutting, though. I mean, just, you never know. It could have been random. Natsuku could have gotten headbutted by somebody. I mean, let's face it, he, he pulled out a your mom joke in that episode we watched last <laughs> night. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> and like, your mom! Yeah. <laughs> What a freaking read that was. But I digress. Ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube, we're going to roll out of the reaction and into the discussion. So, uh, yeah, we appreciate everybody stopping by and hanging out with us here for another reaction to this time MHA Season 5, Episode 4. So we're going to roll into the discussion. So hope to see you over there. And uh, if you like and enjoy our stuff, uh, go ahead and I think today was hit the F9 key, I guess. I don't know. Punch it. Lick it. Whatever. I, I don't know. Whatever it takes. Uh, you know, like, follow, subscribe, all that stuff. We appreciate any and all support that is given to us. So have a good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you. And we'll see you in the next video, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.